In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose the best category from PauseFest Awards 2024 for you and your company. Let's get started. Hi, everyone. My name is George Hedden. I'm a founder and CEO of PauseFest and Awards. Entering the Pause Awards is an exciting opportunity for you and your business uh, to showcase your achievements. But with so many categories, to choose from, 32, um, it could be tough to decide which one to pick that best describes your business efforts and successes. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of selecting the right category, ensuring you maximize your chances of success and winning. That's what we want. So the first to start with, well, uh, when you go to pause the words to enter or register, you'll be faced with picking the category. So that's the very first thing. Um, and let's get clear on that first. Pick any categories. Some might sound good, so pick those. You can change them later. So, But if you have a little bit more time to research, understand the categories. Familiarize yourself with, with them. Read on our website. There's a categories page. Uh, there's also all about the categories on entry form. Um, it's written very short, so you can actually read very quickly, understand what they about. We focus on, on, on that clarity. Each category celebrates different aspect of your business success. It's not by industry. We don't do those. Uh, so it's from innovation to culture to growth to sustainability. Uh, for 2024, we have 12 new categories. All of them are part of category tracks. That's, let's say, a filter or, or, or of some kind to help you um, help you understand which part of the business success you'd like to enter uh, for. And they are culture, excellence, good growth, and operators. Uh, each, as I said, focusing on different facets of business success. Um, so make sure to read and familiarize yourself with those descriptions for each category. And yeah, just enter. Remember, you're not married to categories. You can switch and change and cancel and add once you enter. Identify your strengths. That's kind of very important to look at your business achievements over the past year. What were the standing moments uh, or the projects you've done? Um, are there specific areas of your company that you have excelled, uh, such as launching a new product, implementing a groundbreaking strategy, or uh, making significant social impact? Um, identifying those strengths is key, um, and it's very important um, when selecting appropriate category. So again, remember, categories are designed to highlight the types of business success. They're not for your industry. Um, um, match your achievements to categories. So once you've identified your strengths, you know what you've done, uh, match the categories the best fit those achievements. For example, if your business has made some significant social impact, you might consider entering into the good category track. That category track has about four or five categories in them. Be good um, is one of them. Uh, going green, for example, uh, you you might just pick whatever really suits you uh, if you're in that sort of um, space. If you excelled in customer satisfaction, we have a new category for you. We're very excited about customer obsessed is the category for you and the right fit. There's also categories for individual achievements. They're mostly in operators category track. There's also two categories that you can enter free of charge. They are, however, for angel and venture cap or the VCs, and they are only judged by the public. 
We also uh, suggest that you might want to review past winners. Uh, take a look at the past winners um, through each category. You can toggle through the years, or you can go to pause index and just see all of the winners from the past years. Uh, we also suggest that specifically you might want to read the breakthrough moment from past year's winners, and you can then get the feel about what those people and companies have implemented and what worked for them and how you can potentially write your breakthrough um, question. Those are the things that could really help you um, figure out what your skills and achievements are and what categories you might want to enter. Um, we also feel like you might want to seek some feedback. Um, you can consult with your colleagues, mentors, industry peers, if you like, to expand this discussion beyond just um, yourselves. Or you can just, you know, hop on and decide which categories you want and you could be done in two to four hours. But you can also ask some friends and colleagues um, for their valuable inputs and what they might suggest could be, um, yeah, really good for you. Uh, one of the things that we are very, um, very different from other awards is this flexibility in entry management. What does that mean? Well, we understand the picking categories up front might be a little bit of a decision making at the start, but again, uh, that's okay because you can pick, delete, add all of that later on after you sign up and create your account with Evalato, which is the platform that we use to manage the judging and entry process. Um, but you have a flexibility to, as I said, edit all of these. You can pay at any point in time. You can pay to catch the earlier rates and then edit after. This is something that other uh, awards don't have. They force you to submit and pay and you can't do anything with your submission. We don't operate like this. So you can pay and edit after, but you just need to submit by 30th of August, which is the last deadline. And that's the only thing that you need to think about. So don't stress. There's a plenty of time. Just, um, yeah get started with it. That's the only only thing. Um, in terms of additional support, we do offer fortnightly info sessions. So you can kind of just come and ask questions. We also um, do have discounts for alumni, 30% for female founders, 21.7%. We also have bundles for three, five, and seven entries. They get automatically um, activated. And we also partner with the Green Door Co., which could help you draft the entire entry if you don't have time or bandwidth to do it. How good is that? So to recap, how to decide. Analyze your achievements, review the accomplishments and projects from the past year. What areas did you excel in? Then category dis descriptions, read about the categories. They're very short descriptions, very focused. And I'm sure you're going to find a few really interesting categories there. Align your achievements from the past year to the categories. Um, we've built it and created it that it does make sense. Uh, very, very, uh, it's a very straightforward so just match those achievements with the categories that we have. Um, review past winners. That could give you some insights um, into how to, what to enter, what they've entered and how they won. You can find it on our website. Uh, seek for feedback. Get some input from the colleagues or industry people that could kind of give you some insights. Uh, entry management. Just remember you can manage, edit, and submit your entry even post-payment right up until the last final deadline on 30th of August. So you can chill. Enter and pay and then chill until the end. Submit until the end. Um, additional support, as I said, we've got um, info sessions. You can reach it to us directly. We've had all these discounts and, and bundles, and we can even 
get you our partners to do all the writing for you. So entering pause awards is or might be simpler than you think. We only need 1,000 words from you and there's all the questions that you need to answer. And if you follow that, you could be done in two to four hours. Um, but in saying that, you might want to sort of also seek some feedback, check it with the peers, make sure that you can submit it, uh, get, you know, seek all these approvals and all of that. But also remember, we are here for you. You can reach out anytime um, to send us an email. Good luck with your entry. And we can't wait to read your breakthrough stories. Bye.